In this video, we delve into a shocking case from Northwest, South Africa, where a woman has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for conspiring with her cousins to murder her own family. The High Court in Pretoria has delivered a ruling that has left many in disbelief, not only because of the horrific nature of the crime but also because the betrayal came from within the family itself. The woman, whose identity has been withheld, was found guilty of planning and executing the murders of her parents and siblings in Macau, alongside her cousins. What could lead someone to commit such an unspeakable act against their loved ones? That is the question everyone is asking. The court heard the chilling details of how the woman and her cousins meticulously plotted the murders. While the exact motives behind this crime remain somewhat unclear, there are strong indications that family disputes, perhaps related to inheritance or other personal grievances, played a significant role. These family issues, which may have seemed manageable at one point, spiraled into something far darker, culminating in the deaths of multiple family members. The prosecution presented a strong case, showcasing evidence that linked the woman to the crime. This included witness testimonies, forensic evidence, and intercepted communications that revealed the detailed planning of the murders. Despite her attempts to deny responsibility, the overwhelming weight of the evidence made her involvement undeniable. As the trial unfolded, it became clear that this was not just an ordinary case of violence but a deeply tragic story of family betrayal. The woman's actions have shocked not only her surviving family members but the entire community, leaving many to question how someone could turn against their own blood. The presiding judge did not hold back in condemning the brutal nature of the crime. He spoke strongly about the callousness with which the murders were carried out and emphasized the devastating impact this crime had on the family and the community. The judge made it clear that the sentence was meant to send a strong message, family violence of this nature cannot and will not be tolerated. The judge's words resonated with many, as he noted that family bonds are meant to be sacred, built on trust and mutual support. In this case, however, that bond was destroyed by the very person who should have upheld it. The woman's betrayal of her family, the people closest to her, was at the heart of the court's strong condemnation. While her motives may have included financial or personal grievances, nothing could justify the extent of the crime, which resulted in the loss of innocent lives. This case has drawn widespread attention, not only because of the nature of the crime but because it highlights the potential dangers when family disputes escalate out of control. Familial conflict is common in households across the world, but this particular case is a grim reminder of what can happen when these issues are left unresolved or allowed to fester. The tragic outcome here shows how easily misunderstandings or disputes over inheritance or family dynamics can turn into something far more dangerous if not handled properly. This story serves as a warning about the consequences of allowing resentment or anger to build within a family. In sentencing the woman to 25 years in prison, the court aimed to deliver justice for the victims while also reflecting the severity of her crime. It's a sentence that carries significant weight, not only for the woman herself but also for the wider community. The message is clear, when family members turn against each other, the consequences are devastating, both for the immediate family and for society as a whole. This case has left many questioning how such a situation could have been prevented. Could there have been earlier interventions? Was there a way to resolve the family disputes before they escalated to this point? These are questions that will linger long after the trial. The surviving family members are left to pick up the pieces of their lives, having lost their loved ones in such a brutal manner. The impact on them is immeasurable, as they are forced to grapple not only with the loss but with the knowledge that the betrayal came from within their own family. This tragedy is compounded by the emotional and psychological scars that will undoubtedly linger for years to come. The community, too, is left to deal with the aftermath of this crime. A crime of this magnitude shakes the foundations of trust, and it will take time for the community to heal and move forward. As we reflect on this case, 
it's important to recognize the broader societal implications. Family is often seen as a source of strength and unity, but when that unity breaks down, the consequences can be catastrophic. This case serves as a sobering reminder that communication, understanding, and resolving disputes peacefully are critical in preventing such tragedies from occurring. It also highlights the importance of seeking help when family conflicts arise, whether through mediation, counseling, or other forms of support. For those watching this video, we encourage you to think about the role of family in your own lives and the importance of maintaining healthy relationships with those closest to you. What steps can we take to ensure that conflicts within families do not escalate into something far worse? How can we support those who are struggling with difficult family dynamics? These are questions that we should all consider as we look for ways to prevent similar tragedies in the future. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. We want to hear from you. What do you think could have been done to prevent this tragedy? Do you believe the sentence was fair? How can families work to resolve disputes before they spiral out of control? We'd love to know your opinions, so don't hesitate to join the conversation. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth coverage of important stories like this one. Stay tuned for more content that matters, and remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's keep the conversation going. What do you think about this case? How can society address the underlying issues that lead to such family violence? And what can we learn from this tragic event to prevent similar situations in the future?